The army was always big on Clausewitz, the Prussian, the navy on Alfred Thayer Mahan, the American, and the air force on Giulio de Het, the Italian. But the Marine Corps has always been more Eastern-oriented. I am much more comfortable with Sun Tzu and his approach to warfare. I have drawn inspiration from the Marine Corps, the Jewish struggle in Palestine and Israel, and the Irish. I'm a conservative because I believe in peace, real peace, not just the peace of mind. I'm a conservative because we understand that real peace comes from the Marine Corps, not the Peace Corps. I think a great idea would be involving our various military services along the border all the way from San Diego to Houston. We've got military bases all over the country. We can just move some people down there and let those cartels who are doing a lot of hurt to the youth of America, let those cartels fight against the Marine Corps. My four years in the Marine Corps left me with an indelible understanding of the value of leadership skills. The highly skilled workers at Lima have enabled the plant to grow far beyond its original mission, now providing a wide variety of cutting-edge military vehicles and equipment to the Army, Navy, and Marine Corps. I served two tours in Iraq, in the Marine Corps. In the Marine Corps, everything had a purpose. Men do not fight for flag or country for the Marine Corps or glory or any other abstraction. They fight for one another. And if you came through this ordeal, you would age with dignity. There's a mindset of flexibility and adaptability that comes with us. We don't mind hardship. We don't mind somebody saying, go in and do this nasty job. Whatever the job is, we can do it. That's why the nation has a Marine Corps. When I was sworn in the Marine Corps in 1964, when I was sworn into Congress, I swore to uphold the Constitution against enemies, both foreign and domestic. We have a lot of domestic enemies of, of the Constitution, those who want to pervert it, those who want to change it. Whatever the job is, we can do it. That's why the nation has a Marine Corps. I love my country more than anything. I spent 12 years in the United States Marine Corps. I know what it means to defend this country. I am a Marine Corps veteran, but more importantly, or as important maybe, I'm the chairman of the Oversight Investigation Subcommittee and the House Veterans Affair Committee. I resigned from the Marine Corps and flying in 1974, even though I loved them both. I quit because I no longer wanted to fight for peace. Instead, I believe we can build a more sustainable peace by working for prosperity. I follow the teachings of Major General Smedley Darlington Butler, United States Marine Corps. He won two Congressional Medals of Honor and he wrote the highly controversial anti-war book, War is a Racket. Just being in the military, you're so violent. We got into fights about just random things all the time. I don't think as aggressively as I did when I was in the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps has to ask itself, what does our nation need from its premier crisis response force? We are America's shock troops in war and peace. I know it sounds corny, but it's not. I think some of my best theater training has been in the Marine Corps. Not only meeting a bunch of characters, but growing up. You're in really adult situations at a young age, as far as being in charge of people. The Marine Corps is some of the best acting training you could have. Having that responsibility for people's lives, suddenly time becomes a really valuable commodity and you want to make the most of it. And for acting, you just have to do the work, just keep doing it. If I come in, and you're an employer, and I say, well, I was a sniper in the Marine Corps. Do you have any sniper positions open? No. But if I told you that I was good at communication, good at leadership under stressful environments, team management, personnel management, leadership, being prompt, are stuff that I can bring to the table. I was having an argument with my stepfather, and he was like, why don't you join the Marine Corps? And I was like, no. Well, maybe, actually. I went and saw the recruiter, who was like, are you on the run from the cops? Because we've never had someone want to leave so fast. The Marine Corps has been, and will continue to be, America's expeditionary force in readiness, ready to respond to today's crisis, with today's Marine forces, today. I wouldn't want to go back over my life. I've done it all. I wouldn't have wanted to miss the Marine Corps. I wouldn't have wanted to miss the war. I wouldn't have missed college. Or playing, for the Colts. I got all the money I need. Five children. I got a truck. I have no regrets whatsoever. The United States has been fighting African pirates since the early days of the Republic, battles so formative that, among other things, they established a long-standing pattern of dealing with foreign policy problems through armed interventions and also inspired the iconic phrase The Shores of Tripoli in the Marine Corps hymn. 
At Juilliard, suddenly I was reading these great plays that could articulate the ways I was feeling in the Marine Corps, and that felt very therapeutic, by putting words to feelings, in a big way. I'm not scared of very much. I've been hit by lightning and been in the Marine Corps for four years. We have a saying in the Marine Corps and that is, no better friend, no worse enemy, than a U.S. Marine. We always hope for the first, friendship, but are certainly more than ready for the second. Without discipline, there is no Marine Corps. I am a retired United States Marine Corporal and I started out in 2nd Battalion Night Marines on my deployment and I finished my career in the Marine Corps at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center as a patient. The POW camps of North Vietnam were packed with Air Force and Naval Academy graduates. The six midshipmen in my Naval Academy class of 1968 who served as liaisons between the Marine Corps and the Brigade of Midshipmen later suffered nine Purple Hearts in Vietnam, and one man killed in action. I always equate wrestling to having been in the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps is supposed to be the toughest and most rigorous of its class. In the Marine Corps, your buddy is not only your classmate or fellow officer, but he is also the Marine under your command. If you don't prepare yourself to properly train him, lead him, and support him on the battlefield, then you're going to let him down. That is unforgivable in the Marine Corps. Something I learned in the Marine Corps that I've applied to acting is, 1. Taking direction, and then working with a group of people to accomplish a mission and knowing your role within that team. I have been writing for 50 years and readers still read my first book from when I was in the Marine Corps. I was going to be a Marine before I was going to be an actor. I was really serious about joining the Marine Corps. We also very importantly recommend continued growth in the Army and the Marine Corps and strength. I was in the Marine Corps in 1971. The idea, where does authority come from, is fascinating to me. And also, the idea of a chaplain is fascinating to me because it's a man of the cloth in uniform, and it's the uniform of a killing machine. Back when I was in the Corps, when I saw that, I was amazed by it. The Marine Corps taught me how to kill, but it didn't teach me how to deal with killing. I liked the military life. They teach you self-sufficiency early on. I always say that I learned most of what I know about leadership in the Marine Corps. Certain basic principles stay with you, sometimes consciously, mostly unconsciously. When you get out of the Marine Corps, you feel like you can do anything. The Marine Corps is the Navy's police force and as long as I am president that is what it will remain. They have a propaganda machine that is almost equal to Stalin's. I'm probably more comfortable inside a Marine Corps rifle company than I am anywhere in my life. The Marine Corps was the first father figure I had ever known. Emphasis in the Marine Corps isn't on talking about your feelings. Spread the gospel that the Marine Corps is a force that has changed. We're not in 1942 anymore. My dad was a Golden Gloves boxer in the Marine Corps, then a deputy sheriff. My mom worked as an office assistant. The male role models I had all seemed to have been in the military. My father served in the army. My uncle was in the Marine Corps. Both of my grandfathers served in World War II. There weren't any career soldiers in my family, but when I was young it seemed like a way of arriving at adulthood. We think of the Marine Corps as a military outfit, and of course it is, but for me, the U.S. Marine Corps was a four-year crash course in character education. It taught me how to make a bed, how to do laundry, how to wake up early, how to manage my finances. These are things my community didn't teach me. Visit our website for more quotes, quoting.com.